All right, we continue to kung fu fight as we enter night number five. We know we're going to have more runners. Ah, our first Klars have entered the chat. Oh, well, that was insulting. All right, let's see. Dan? Dan, Dan. The punching man. That uh, that runner did uh, did good work for sure. Let's see, we'll get potion of stone and let's uh, let's get right there, up in their faces a little bit. Jonko needs to get into the heart of the of the discussion here. Pancake has uh, has now tasted blood. So it begins. Craw Clars and crawlers. The the combination is is rough. I will admit, Zem. I will admit. Okay, so let's let's get our our buff here. I'm gonna start with uh start with this lancer just because I'm nervous. I think we can afford to wrath here once. To make sure we get the kill. Gonna transfer over this way. To make sure we get those sorted out. Oh, we need a movement point for that, too. Hmm, all right. I think that, well, we could come over and take care of this guy. The, yeah, the the hoppers poisoning us are more annoying than, than the rest. We'll come back to those guys over there. Okay. Now, do we have enough poisonous yet? 76, 96. I feel like the fact that we can't kill runners in a single shot is, is bumming me out something fierce. Jeez. Not even guaranteed kills on the runners. Your spiky counter pancakes. Let's get you into the mix. Yes, that's correct, Zam. Yeah, sorry, sorry for the the slow response. Spiky counter uh, is pretty deeply flawed. Um, we've we've talked about it before, but spiky counter really suffers from a lack of. Uh, a lack of ability to hit that many units. It just it just doesn't do quite as much work as as you might hope it to. Or at least less than I would like it to. Uh, let's see, I think. I'm gonna just get you into position here. Pancake is spiky counter, so we'll get you like here. Yeah, it just it doesn't hit enough targets is the is its biggest challenge. Now this you can't jump over. The the venerable lamp post is not to be trifled with. And then Dan's got Dan's got movement, so I'm just gonna come around and I'm gonna Spread some, spread some snare, I think. Mm. 
You could pick up an action point. You have free movement? Let's do this. And just do that to spread the spread the poison. And then you might as well. You can't move, so I want to leave you here, I think. Yeah, we're good. Yes, it's decent against archers. It's okay against hoppers. There there are a few. Uh, there are a few enemies for which it is not bad. Build their walls out of lampposts. Zem, you uh you are certainly on to something with that with that recommendation. I agree. The claws are our primary concern. Although they get they get slowed down real quick. Can't really move anymore. Uh, I'll use an action potion. Might as well get the kill here. Now, over here, Albrecht is going to do some work, it seems. I think, I think removing this uh, hopper is probably worth. I, I think we're going to end up picking up a lot more of these focus rings now that I'm kind of looking at the way the, the run is structuring itself. Oh, there is a, there's a runner over here that I apparently need to, that I was blocking. Yeah, but focus rings seem very good since we don't really have another mana sink. Okay. Uh, here are the omens that I chose. Um, boxing, dexterity, leaps, sturdiness, and violence. It is Lakeburg, and I decided I didn't want to go... Uh, I didn't want to go crazy with... With, uh, with boundless mode or anything like that. So this was, this was the play. Let's see. Can I jump over you? I can. I'm just holding this guy in place. I don't think there's a way that I can lure him into our uh, into our, our web, as it were, but we'll see. Good job, Dan. You did all right there. I'm not mad at it. We forgot to use cheer, as is going to become tradition in this run. Did that runner just miss the wall? Yes, that is a, that is a thing that happens nowadays. All right, let's use our cheers before I forget. 15 enemies to go. Looks like we... I don't... I'm not too concerned about what we got going on here. I am gonna... I am torn about the... The elite here. There's part of me that says that we should... We should manipulate him and maybe break this wall and walk him through it. I think I'm gonna... I'm going to try to get him all the way into the base. See if we can get ourselves in the loot corpse pile. Yeah, I, I think so too, Zero. Albrecht is not to be trifled with, I just want to say. Okay, we got one enemy left.
Okay. That was a pretty suboptimal pathing that he just chose. Are you going to chew on one of my walls rather than coming through? Wow. That's a dumb... It's a dumb way to path, my dude. Let's see if we can... Let's see if maybe if we actually give him the opportunity to hit us, if that changes anything. Oh, wait. You have you have spiky counter, so uh, you have... All right. Well, I guess if I do this... Nope. Yeah, this guy, this guy wants to chew on this wall specifically. Do we let him break a wall? He's onto some Sigma grind, pretty much. It's going to take forever. Oh my gosh, he missed. This better be worth it. Hooray! Good for you. You did so good, Elite Claw. I'm so impressed. Oh, and now he goes after the other wall. Who I want to get the kill? Ah, Pancake can have the kill. That's fine. Break it for him. That would have been a good call, Cinco. That would have reduced panic, I think. Ouch, bad level ups here. All right, we did we did nin my ninja the uh, the elite corpse though, so we got that going for us. All right, we're gonna need a warp gate right here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing back the fog, give us some space to operate within the confines of. I can't imagine not taking this eye patch. The stats on it are pretty lackluster, but I think just the action point is so worth it for us right now. Yeah, well, Gotti, I think that's a I think that's generally a a fairly common uh opinion on the game. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the eye patch. Even though the stats on it are pretty whatever. I think the XP isn't bad. We we won't be angry that we had that. The Paladin Greaves here, I think, are decent enough to take. And then we'll roll our knight reward. The cape is the cape is too good not to take. We'll grab that. We have we're doing a lot with opportunism right now. Let's see. I think Jonko needs that. Then who has spiky counter? Pancake has spiky counter. Give you that. Are these any good? Eh. This helmet is probably better. Eh, the block is probably better there, actually. Yes, do my uh, my girlfriend got me the, this uh, this streaming uh, streaming hoodie with a with a furry inside. It's uh, it's super cozy. I'm I'm living my best life at the moment as a uh, as a streamer. I must say. Okay, your your spiky counter. I wish there were more perks that contributed to to block. Let's let's grab vampirism. We'll probably take some damage at some point. Gonna take the physical damage. A kingly robe. <laughs> I deserve no such trappings. All right. Okay, so I think. I think my plan at the moment we're going to we're going to build walls over here as we have done on other sides. I'm 
gonna replace that wall. Replace that wall and then... I guess we can afford to actually close it up. Doesn't seem bad. Now, I think it's time to start to start refining our heroes. Which means that every turn, I think we're going to be paying a 200 gold tax to throw someone away to replace them with someone else. We can get another poisoner out of this one. I'm really liking the look of Birdie here. Jester, Smart, and Feyblood are all really nice. Let's grab Birdie. So who are we? I think Dan Dan is, uh, is going bye-bye. You had a good run, Dan. Thank you for your service. The <laughs> Lone Gates. I'm sorry, Dan. I so part of my strategy here, whether whether it is correct or not, is I plan to. There's bodybuilder. That's good. Uh, bodybuilder and organic armor and coagulation. Yes, this is what we're talking about. Um, so my plan is to get four solid heroes. Uh, now you're actually birdie. You're going to be very strong. So I think I'm going to put pancake up here with Albrecht. And Birdie, you're gonna be you're gonna be over here. So let's see. This is an upgrade for you. That's better than daily mana regen. This is gonna get sold. You get a nice offhand. Get a nice pair of pants upgrade. Another potion of stone ain't bad. Put energy on Jonko. Okay, let's get let's get Birdie leveled here. So Birdie is going to pick up Coag. Going to pick up Bodybuilder. I don't think we need Avid Learner necessarily. Ah, it's so it's so cheap. It's that versus Contaminate. I think Relentless is really nice here. I'm sad we're not going to get to Organic Armor. But I like Relentless and I like Runic Gift. Here. So let's pick up those two and then we'll get organic armor next time. Okay, so health is health is a big pickup for us here. We we don't have anything Blood Mage is not that useful. <laughs> we don't have we don't have ways to spend mana. <laughs> Everybody needs to remember that. Um I'm not. I'm not saying that that we're not going to have any blood mages, but just bear in mind that uh, that it, it it only it only helps so much. I think this physical damage is too good to take. Not to take. We do need to pick up just some some straight damage though. Nope, no wander axe for buffs here. I'll bring it up for a second here while we're while we're doing this, uh, real quick. So, no weapons, not even for stats. No external damage sources. No damaging scrolls. No damage based defenses. No ballistas or catapults. Uh, ranged perks are currently okay. So poisonous is okay. Human ballista is okay. Non weapon offhands are not allowed. Yes, sadly, sadly. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to go pretty hard on myself because I'd rather I'd rather fail on this first one and then and then come back around and decide that we have to nerf the challenge should have taken the health there probably I think birdie's gonna do a lot of killing so I'm gonna give him some uh, some of that a little bit of opportunism could be nice I'll take a blue reliability though a little bit of isolation. We're a bit all over the place, but I think Birdie's going to be pretty strong. Let's, uh, let's Birdie's going to be in here for the long term, so let's make sure we remember that Birdie is a bodybuilder. 
We ideally, I think, want all bodybuilders. If we can, if we can swing it. Because I think they have the highest damage potential by a mile. Blood Mage turns mana into resistance. That is true. That is true. The energy potion is interesting. I think we go, I think we go economy though. Can we get the next level here of this? And then how much do we need to get another armory? 10 more or less than 10 more gold? I can find some stuff to sell. Potion of invisibility. I like the movie boots. Defensive turtle charm is, is pretty lackluster. I said I needed 65. I do. I need three more gold. I have six workers, though. What am I even doing? Hold on. Please hold. Let's see. Two ruins are not worth it. We have already extended beyond it, so let's get all the ruins out of our base that we're not going to be using. Now this one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And we might as well get this one fully upgraded. Okay, so... I'd like to get a jeweler. Now now that we have some, some flexibility here, let's get our production buildings up this turn. I don't love barricades and things like that inside the base. At some point we may build like distraction walls if we think that boomers are gonna be coming in, but, but we got a jeweler. Put down another armor smith, and then I think I'm gonna do one alchemist. Because it fits so nicely in that corner there. We're, we're potentially gonna try it. Barricades are good for leapfrog. That's that is a reasonable, a reasonable thought, uh, Pedro. I'm not planning on spending a lot of time in the base though. So that uh that would be the only reason not to go that direction. Now, if we get flyers again, this this area over here could get annoying, but I think we're looking pretty good. All right, here we go. Night number six. The Ravagers have arrived, and they have brought bats with them, too. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, that's a, that's a turn spent doing very little. Um, I forgot, did I have cheer over here? I don't have cheer over here, I have cheer over here. I think both my cheer, my only cheer is over here. All right. Things are going to get real over here, I think. Just got to stop that guy from moving. That's really the only the only purpose there, I think. Oh, these We're going to have such a hard time with these bats, I think. Is this guy moving at all? No? Okay. This may be where the rubber hits the road. As it were. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a hard time on this night, I think. It's going to be hard to keep the Ravagers from not ravaging and getting buffs, I think. I think we need to focus a little bit on them. These two are going to be annoying, though. Kick the cheer back. Yeah, 
Yeah, bats are annoying because of their innate resistance. Oh. So does... Does them buffing remove Crippling Punch's debuff, or is Crippling Punch's only for the next turn? Got it. Okay. It is It is not long-lasting without Hex, I think is what I just learned. Okay. I think... I think we gotta come take care of the bats over here. Okay, you're gonna take you're gonna take seven lifetimes to get out of there. Put a teleporter up here. I mean, I I will eventually for Nessie. I guess maybe maybe the point is I should have done that sooner. I I could certainly I could certainly cop to that. I think, but we'll see. So far, so far we're not we're not in a disastrous place. Wait, who has cheer? No, no one down here has cheer. Now we can't quite make it to the bat. I don't think there's any way even with jump over to do it. At least that way. All right. Do you have, do you have bat range? You do have bat range. Because once this bat gets out of hand, it's going to be very out of hand. Don't jinx it. I will try not to. So Jonko coming over here gets a lot of poison spread around. I think that means that Birdie, Birdie's going to do some. Some drive-bys here. Um, less drive-bys than I wanted to do. So here's a question. If I do this... Oh, it's a blocker, so I can't jump over it. Absolutely frustrating. Absolutely beyond frustrating. There we go. That slows down this bat. Excuse me? The contamination didn't spread the way that I... I thought the debuff should have happened first there. That was interesting. All right, well, I guess we just need to take this bat out and then we'll loop back around. I would have expected the snare to apply and then for us to go from there, but... We ended up using up almost all of our actions. Yeah, the, the bats are going to be the uh, the bane of our existence to to a certain extent here, I fear. Okay, are you you're you're cheering, but you can't cheer currently. All right, we'll we'll do this. That stops you from getting in. So I think we do that. Then we run over to here. I'm gonna try and completely one-shot this guy. Yeah. I think that was I think that was worth it. Then I'll move back like this. Ah, uh, the Ravager can still come hit me here. Maybe I should be a little smarter about my positioning. I don't think we need to take any Ravager hits to the face, right? That's not... Ugh, that breakpoint hurts. What were you we saying about Fatality earlier? You don't have it. I, I mean, I just checked, Jay. We don't have it. Let's see. I think... 
We still need to do a little work on the bats, but I kind of feel like I just do that, and then the problem is if I move to here, I can I can do good work on this Ravager, but then I don't get as much of this corner done. I think I think we need to take out the Ravager at at basically any cost. Uh, I think that was. That was worth the price of admission. Okay. Ah, an elite bat. How delightful. Okay. So. The bat we're just going to have to do next time, I think. I think we're better being over here. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have a problem getting adjacent to the bat. And I think Albrecht is just going to focus on cleaning up over here. How much, which is this? Regenerating bat? Probably not the worst bat for us to run into. Okay, we'll pop our, our damage potion next turn, I think. Now I'm just going to do one hit on all, all these guys. Just trying, trying to clean up as best we can the bucket of syrup that we are currently deeply mired in. Okay. Yeah, we would get we would get insane mileage out of uh, out of execute, especially on birdie. But huh, birdie doesn't have the perk. Yeah, lone wolf. I should be checking it. It uh. We are we are struggling from what I I kind of expected would be one of the challenges here. Do we? What do we think? Do we think that there's any chance that we will? How much does this guy have? Twelve hundred hit points. That seems like that seems like a lot of hit points. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of hit points. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep them stationary for the moment. I think that's going to become Birdie's full-time job, which means Albrecht needs to do some serious work over here. Like I said, this is this is a turn for uh, I don't believe we get any twisted on Lakeburg. Uh It would be it would be a fun time if we did. That's good enough for now. Okay. We're going to need the walls. The walls will need to do it. This guy is already dead, so... Seventy-six. I think we are doing seventy-six poison. All right. Love to see it. Now, Poisonous is going to hit a nice group of them. Which we've already slowed down. Hey, thank you so much, Bulletproof Blueprint. Let's see. So I think this side is okay. This guy is going to be a little annoying, but... The, 
the breakpoints on Birdie has found the sweet spot. I tell you what, I'm just gonna slow everybody down. It's it's not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. All right, you might as well just block up because you're out of punches due to movement limitations. Eeyore. <laughs> what is even going on? What is even going on? All right, let's see. So let's get contagion on this guy. Get the poison, the poison working. You're dead in two, which means you're safe. We're going to ignore this one just because. So let's get into the thick of things over here. Poisonous is doing good work for us. Oh, the bat, the bat, we, uh, we ran out of, we ran out of juice for the bat. That's fine, though. Okay, Poisonous will get some kills here. Okay, you need to finish this guy off. While you're here, do them. And I think we just try and keep the party going. All right, so over here, oh, forgot to cheer. Okay, your movement is at zero, so we'll just do that. And try and zap that bat. Okay, let's see. Anybody, anybody poisoned? Not, nah, not enough. I know, Mel. I know. It's it's cha it's challenging. The uh, right now, I'm I'm glad I built walls. I will say that much. guys. I think I just... Actually, on my way by... Do that. You should have no problem getting this sorted out. Alright. Looking decent. Now you... The, uh, the wave delay on Crippling Punch is uh, proving more more lucrative than I expected it to. I'm gonna put one Contagion there and one Contagion there. I don't know which direction I'm going. I, I have not cheered. Why can I not cheer? Oh, vision issues. Eh, whatever. Mostly, mostly clean. The the one move point one wall gotti because I looked at the the three move point one omen of celerity is the one that I was like uh, that could be really nice, but it is uh, it's it's two omen points which feels very punishing. Feels hard to uh, hard to justify. We'll get the elite next time. I am gonna let it enter the base. I think regeneration twenty, and it just healed for a hundred and something. Did anyone else see that? Right, we're gonna let it come in, and then I think I'm gonna bring the whole gang over because I'm a little nervous that. I might let it in and then not have the oomph to kill it. Twenty percent. They should really put a I don't know twenty per, a percentage on that. Auto cheer would be very nice. All right, here we go. You ready for this? 
I feel like this is the defining moment of the run. <laughs> we got we got four guys just pounding on this uh, this poor bat, and hopefully we succeed. If not, the minus movement points are going to be pretty amazing. All right, I I'm giving the kill to Albrecht. I think he deserves it. But uh, yeah, I'm just picturing like a circle of of dudes just punching a bat to death, <laughs> bullying the elite big time. I'm I'm doing what I have to do here. I. I'm not proud of it. I'm not saying that it's uh, that it's my finest moment, but so one of the questions we have to ask ourselves is: Do we think this set of heroes is good enough? I'm pretty, I'm pretty nonplussed about Pancake right now. I think I'm, I think I might kick Pancake out of the out of the crew. Yakuza roleplay. <laughs> oh. Keep pushing back that fog, and then I think I'm just gonna keep pumping, pumping gold. I don't think I've ever had 650 gold on this night, and we haven't even gone through our gear. So, yes, please. There's no way I'm not taking these boots. Movement point and a movement ability. Our heroes need all the movement abilities they can get. We do need to start finding some, some more action points. Rolling this is uh, not a smart play. I don't. The ro that roll was very questionable. Baron Cape three is good enough. Battle Mage armor looks great. We just need more shields. Uh, I think. When we are offered them, I'm probably going to grab them. This, this winged helm, though. We do need more movement, too. Let me come back to that. I'll grab that shield for sure. I think these potions are all pretty trash. But, I mean, a block two potion is still a block two potion, right? Let's give this one more roll. Not a bad helm. All right, so are we retiring Pancake? Yeah, I think so. Thank you for your service, Pancake. Yeah, I, I do agree. I, I do think that the shop makes the alchemist pretty irrelevant. Uh, irrev irrelevant. Rogue armor? Yeah, rogue armor would be very nice. Um, for sure. All right, pancake. Well, let's actually, let's take a look and see if we can learn anything about the heroes we have on offer in the inn. Another poison. We have two good poison heroes potentially here. Orc blood we love, movement we love. We don't care about unstable. I think we like Pierre a lot. Pierre is the new pancake. We're paying a heavy a heavy price in terms of new heroes here for sure. Let's uh, let's see if we got lucky. I see bodybuilder. We see I see bodybuilder. I see organic armor. I see fatality. I am happy. Oh, I also see coag though. We can wait and get, uh, well, no, we need to get coagulation so that next time we can get organic armor. Relentless Lone Wolf. I think Relentless Fatality here actually feels better to me. I like to think retired heroes just work in the Haven instead. 
That's a, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful idea. Okay, that, I love the look of that damage for sure. The XP gain, I don't think it's too late. It's, it's getting close to too late. I really only, given how many heroes I'm hiring, I'm, I may hold off on that. I think this damage is too good not to take at the blue tier. Take some health. Take big health. I'll roll this. Some resistance reduction could be interesting. Big armor is is next time around going to contribute massively to organic armor. Sure, I'll take that. Okay, we like opportunism, but I think I'm going to roll here just to see what we can get. We didn't go crit, so I'll take some physical damage. Some healing received would be pretty... Sweet. Take some opportunism. I'll take a bit of healing received. I just want to make sure that we, we get some of it. Oh, the accuracy is very low, actually. I didn't realize... Why? Traits gear? Wow. We'll, we'll switch out some gear to, to get it back up. But I, I don't mind having a turn where we're a little... A little off kilter. I'm not. I'm not going to be too mad about that. Okay, move this to a poisonous hero. Uh, let's see. Let's give you that and that. Give you an action potion. We'll find you a better pair of pants so that your accuracy doesn't go too terribly low. We had, let's see, who's our, who, where's Jonko? Jonko, I like you with that, that cape, actually. So maybe this doesn't get used. Well, we can just put it anywhere then, right? No harm. Pierre can have the nasal helm. Who doesn't have a movement shoe? Birdie, you need, you need some movement. Swift Elven boots are hard to replace. That can go there. Then who gets this chest piece? I think Pierre does. Okay. Let's do let's do some level ups now on our other heroes. Jonko takes the poison. Can we save one perk for poisonous? We, we have a poisonous hero. Are you looking for another poisonous hero? Is that what you're saying? I think Epidemic is probably good. Organic Armor doesn't interest me that much here. Yeah, I think we just take Epidemic. Well, we already have Contamination, though. Oh, let's take Specialist, obviously. Sadly, we don't have specialist available over here. Now I'm thinking we might grab Fatality. Al Albrecht has been doing pretty good damage, so I'm not I'm not convinced. A little bit of block could be good as we start to get a bit further in. Al Albrecht's damage has been good, but I'd like a little more. Unblockable? Head-on is interesting, but I think Fatality is going to be pretty good. Could also go Vampirism just so we have some sustain, which we may need in the future. Hmm, <laughs> Tough decisions here. Nimbleness would also be nice. I think I'm going to go Fatality, though. I'm going to give that... Okay. 
we got very lucky with that with that roll, so I'm not I'm not gonna complain at all. And then Albrecht, I feel like Albrecht's uh, XP is already decently high at 163. Let's keep pushing that up so that our hopefully our in continues to be uh, to give us good heroes. Now we've got all this. We can leave the corpse piles. Albrecht needs a shield also. But let's see. I think I think we want. Do we want another another tinker, another jeweler, or another armor maker? Is this our last one? It is our last one. I think we're better off with a jeweler. We have a fair number of people with runic gift. So let's do that. Let's get that upgraded. And then we're going to go Pierre over here. Albrecht is going to be up here. Jonko and Pierre. Actually, Jonko does really well over here, especially if we don't get flying units. So I'll put I'll put Birdie over here. I mean, should I upgrade, start upgrading my walls? I feel like I should finish off this side before I start going crazy upgrading my walls. Yeah, let's just let's get this let's get this prepped for later. Alright, we'll just we'll call it there. We'll save we'll save a little bit. And we still have some money left over. I think upgrading some houses is good for business here. Or upgrading a house at least. We could get one more item out of one of these corpse piles, or we could just get some. Actually, we can get our last house upgrade if we do this. So let's do that. And then we'll get an item. All right. See if we get anything anything exciting. Ooh. Reinforced medium body armor is good. Looks like this medium armor is the one to go. All right. We do have some stuff to sell still here, too. I mean, I, I like that there are different uh, AIs. For, for different enemies, Mal. I think it's I think that's a really well designed aspect of the game. It would feel bad if all the enemies were just like, I am gonna go in a you know, I'm gonna go in a very predictable fashion. There's something very enjoyable about the the diversity of that. Alright, so I think I think we've basically done what we can do here. Uh, so let's Let's get ready. I think we're now at the point where my next recruitment will be an increase in number of heroes, which I'm very excited about. But for now, I don't think there's too much for us to take here. I'd buy another shield if one was available, and I would buy... Oh, this energy potion actually... Hold on. We can buy a level 3 energy potion by selling a crappy potion, I think. That's a good, yeah, that's a great, a great use of, of time and energy. And then I think for now, hold on, Pierre, you are hitting for a hundred. Okay. Birdie is hitting harder. Birdie is hitting the hardest of anyone actually. So we'll give Birdie a nice, a nice potion. All right. Our, our damage is not scaling up quite the way it probably needs to. But night number number seven.